So today I'm going to build a SMPS circuit for you. So this is the whole SMPS circuit. There is actually a problem. So what is the problem? Let us see. My uh, phone charger actually got destroyed because of ants. And the fault is actually, I don't know if you can see, it is uh, in this component. Here you can see it is little burned out. I wanted to repair, but I failed. And hence I thought that how the circuits work. So this is the common SMPS circuit and I wanted to see how it works. So I created this exploded view of the S this SMPS circuit such that I can understand the function of each individual component. The AC power supply always enters through a thermistor or a fixed resistor. So what happens it limits the inrush current or the huge current which flows when you switch on a device. This is actually a safety mechanism. So this is a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. It means like as the temperature increases its resistance goes down. After the AC current goes through this thermistor which is a safety mechanism it goes through this bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier which is 1N4007 actually converts the AC current to DC current. The bridge rectifiers are arranged in this configuration. The DC output from the bridge rectifier consists of ripples or noises or pulses. So we need to filter out those ripples, pulses or noises and for that we use this capacitor. So this capacitor are actually 400 volt 2.2 microfarad and there is actually a resistance. So it is actually a RC filter to filter out the AC component in the DC input and this capacitor actually filters it out and smoothens the input signal. The positive part of the DC component goes through this snubber circuit to this transformer then the, uh, after it goes through this transformer then it goes to this IC which is AP8022. Now this IC is connected to the ground of this DC input. Now there is an another auxiliary uh, winding. This auxiliary winding or this additional winding in the primary section is actually to power this IC. So this is a snubber circuit which consists of a high voltage capacitor and a resistance. So what happens during the switching operation, during the reverse recovery process, there is over voltage spikes or noises which can damage a diode or a switching MOSFET. To protect this diode and the switching MOSFET, we use a snubber circuit which prevents over voltage spikes or voltage transient in electrical system. So this is AP8022, we call it uh, SMPS IC or it is actually a pulse wide modulator with a power MOSFET inside. What it does is that it converts this DC component into an AC component because transformer cannot convert from high voltage to low 5 voltage through DC. So this IC actually converts the DC component to AC square wave pulses. So how it does is that it chops the input DC signal uh, on off on off at a rate of 60 kilohertz. So from this auxiliary winding there is a diode which is connected which is 4148 which is a small signal fast switching diode. This capacitor is connected in parallel with the VCC and the ground of this SNPS IC to filter out the AC component from the DC power and also it smooths it because the this transformer this auxiliary winding produces AC square wave and it needs to be filtered out with this capacitor which is what I am using is around 1000 mu f 35 volt so this is how this SMPS IC gets its power so as you know this IC switches at a frequency of 60 kilohertz so uh, normal diodes like 1N4007 in the secondary side does not work or does not rectify. Hence what we do is that we use a Scott key barrier diode which is also called a hot carrier diode and it has a low forward voltage and higher switching speed and so we get a better efficiency. This rectified signal is filtered through this capacitor which is of 25 volt. Another is this 100 nanofarad capacitor. So now the problem comes is that how this IC will understand whether the output voltage is 5 volt or not. Hence it needs a feedback. This black wire which comes from this octocoupler acts as a feedback. Now we'll understand how this octocoupler actually works. I am sorry the video ends here, actually I need to test a YouTube algorithm, so please follow the link in the description for the part 2 of this video. 
and if you like the video please press the uh, subscribe button and like share with your friends if you disliked it press the dislike button and tell me in the comment section why you disliked it till then tata -ta.